so yesterday we started discussing exercise one step three and we took this assignment in exercise one we are trying to observe the self that is the consciousness is observing the consciousness so in step one we try to observe the imagination as it is without any evaluation any judgment any reaction neither trying to stop nor trying to go with it just observing as it is and in particular we try to observe the feeling in step 2 we try to evaluate the feeling and find out whether the feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not and in step 3 now we are trying to find out our state of being is that feeling whether we are comfortable or not whether we are happy or unhappy so the assignment was observe your imagination particularly the feeling in your imagination is the feeling naturally acceptable to you or not do you want the continuity of this feeling or not with this feeling are you comfortable within or uncomfortable within we need to do this observation as often as we can we need to try and observe this every moment so first of all we need to observe the feeling as it is and we could discuss so many issues that come up while observing the feeling and what was finally noted is that we need to enter into the process of observation okay without trying to fix things that i should be able to observe this much or that much we need to enter into that process of observation many times when we go to observe the feeling we are not able to observe so to start with we can object we can uh, observe the object of imagination and then the thought associated with the object and finally by looking to the purpose we can see the feeling and you could also see that this is a simple task but very important at times it becomes difficult because our because of our own conditionings in multiple ways but essentially we have to observe the feeling because the feeling drives our thoughts and that drives our expectation once you are able to observe the feeling then we can also ask to ourselves whether the feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not that is whether i want to continue with the feeling or not that is is it in accordance with human nature or not in so many ways we try to find out here again the effort is to evaluate the feeling and not analyze the feeling or analyze the thoughts which are coming okay just trying to make an assessment or a judgment of that we are trying to look into our natural acceptance and the basic, basic purpose <clears throat> of looking into the natural acceptance is that we are trying to awaken the higher level activities the potential is already there in me now with that i can also make out whether i am comfortable or not within you know, with the feeling with the uh, whatever my state of being am i comfortable or not so when step 2 when i am able to see that the feeling is naturally acceptable to me or not acceptable to me with that i can also observe whether i am in harmony within or i am in disharmony within and then i have to keep on observing this so if we have done this exercise yesterday then you can reflect upon this ask questions or if you have something to share you can share we had also taken a note of giving this observation regular by observing the imagination in particular the feeling every 4 hours and we try to fix some schedule also so if there is any reflection any question you can just raise your hand and share yeah my just a small uh, clarification required for my confusion uh, can we say feelings associated associated with thoughts and the thoughts associated with feelings uh, if it is correct then uh, is there any possibility of feelings ends with the feelings only no thoughts uh, behind feelings and thoughts ends with the thoughts only no feelings behind the thoughts is it possible like that by uh, any situation no bhaiya there will be some feeling or the other only that it may be the case that we are not able to observe it acha 
suppose we are writing some appearing for some examination we are trying to get uh, the responses for uh, given questions uh, completely we are in the thought process uh, i think so is it correct our feelings we are unable, not able to observe behind that so why are you making that effort no yeah actually if i appear for some examination writing some examination so i try to recollect uh, uh, in my uh, mind uh, whatever i have prepared uh, to write the answers so in Pardon. that uh, all the thoughts are uh, feelings also there yeah no i am saying ask yourself why why are you trying to recollect why are you appearing for the examination for for answering the questions uh, uh, given in the examination paper yeah so why do you want to answer the questions uh, because uh, yeah uh, yeah in that uh, okay okay i could be able to understand some feelings behind that to get uh, expectations yes. i think behind that not feelings i think expectation is there feeling is also there acha acha yeah if i get something uh, something i can do and uh, some feelings behind that yes yes for example yes. you want to go for a job you know because you want to be prosperous yes you know for opting for uh, for that job you have to do some preparation you have yes. to appear in the examination yes. okay and then you can have feeling both the ways if i get the job then what will happen if i do not get the job then what will happen so sometimes you may feel secure that if i get the job now now my life is going to be settled if i do not get the job then what will happen to me so you may feel insecure so when you are yeah. preparing for examination there will be something at the level of feeling within you yes so whether we observe or not uh, every thought associated with feeling and feelings associated with thoughts and uh, expectations also am i correct bhai yes yes thank you it is the case that i am not able to observe that is fine but the yeah. duties are continuous in me desire is continuous in me thought is continuous in me expectation is continuous in me so something Indeed. or the other will be there at the level of desire thought and expectation i may not be able to observe it you just observe this particular thing <clears throat> when we are appearing for the examination you may have a feeling of fear is yeah. what will happen yeah. to me what will people say of me if i do not qualify in the examination you know so yes. you might have feeling of fear you might have feeling of insecurity or you might have a feeling of kind of excitement also that once i clear this examination my life is going to be settled so many things could be there you feel nervous while yes. appearing for the examination yes yes so these uh, thoughts feelings uh, expectations are coming uh, one by one or uh, simultaneously is is there any possibility of having simultaneously the activity the activity is simultaneous but the object may be one after another acha 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 okay bye thank you thank you the object may be one after another so we yes, took sir. examples also know that maybe i taste something from uh, sensation and that trigger hmm. some thought and that thought trigger some feeling yeah so maybe someone tells me that his brother qualified in upsc and now he is going to be an is officer okay so yes. you just know that what has been his qualification he says that he did btech from this particular college and then he appeared for upsc now this yes. information comes to me right i tf this information and then it can trigger some thought that if this person can qualify for upsc by going you know by having this kind of qualification why not me this thought comes yes. and then we can have the feeling that yes let me also be an is officer now yes. and the kind of life that i will have after becoming an is officer you know will be completely different so one may now start nurturing that feeling and now with that feeling it will keep on triggering multiple thoughts now how to prepare where to get the books from where to do the coaching you know, how to do the preparation all those things would be occurring at the level of thought and with i with all those thoughts there would be some expectation that bus let this examination be clear and then i am going to be the happiest person in the world so that expectation is also there yes. so you tested something at the level of expectation that triggered some thought it triggered some feeling now that feeling is ruling your total imagination 
Yes. Very clear. Thank you, Bea. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bea, I want to ask you a question because uh, whenever I will observe the, any news or if I read any of the uh, newspaper or even any of the uh, books, uh, which I will tend to read, uh, which will give us uh, uh, a favorable feeling. So is it right or uh, uh, irrespective of the content we can hear uh, or how to develop that competence? So that is why my question. No, not clear, Via. Say it again. How? You are reading some newspaper. Uh, uh, if uh, some news uh, content in the newspaper or in the TV TV news or uh, any content, if I read, uh, I tend I tend to read the content uh, uh, which is which gives a favorable feeling to me, which I like. Uh, so uh, sometimes if I don't like, I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to read it. So is that the content is making me that? Or my feeling uh, or my response to that uh, is making me to not to read or not to listen to that content. Yeah, so you, are selection. you are making some selection and that selection is coming with a taste. That this kind of information is going to be tasteful for me. This kind of information is not going to be tasteful for me. And behind that, there is a feeling of being happy with this kind of information, not being happy with this kind of information. So here you are trying to taste some information which could be favorable for you. For example, maybe you are not interested in cricket. So you will skip over the pages of cricket. And you are interested in football. So if there is some news about football, you will read it. You will skip all the pages where the news about cricket is there. Maybe you are interested more in elections not in sports. So you'll skip all those pages of sports and you will read the news about election. It could be vice versa, otherwise also, isn't it? So this is the way we select. And that selection is coming with a taste. I have some taste inside, which is seated in me. And with that taste, I'm making the selection. And now if you ask yourself why I'm interested in election news, so you have some feeling there. Maybe you want to see order in the nation. Okay. So you're interested in the outcome of the election. So you have some feeling there. Try to make it out. With that, you have been doing some analysis. If this party wins, what will happen? If that party wins, what will happen? And with that, you are opting for that particular segment of news in the newspaper. Uh, uh, is it possible to see uh, uh, or uh, is it possible to change our test or uh, is it possible to see both uh, favorable, favorable as well as unfavorable news uh, uh, without any reaction or can we develop such uh, uh, competence? See, we can always develop the competence so that I do not get any kind of reaction inside. That is quite possible. But again, like if I have to opt for something, I will opt for something which is useful. So I can look for unfavorable news also. That is fine. But again, that would be coming with some expectation. For example, maybe some natural catastrophe took place and many people died. This is an unfavorable news. But you may be interested in it because you feel related to them. So you may look for this kind of news in the newspaper. Okay. Because you have feeling of relationships. If you don't feel related, then you will simply skip over these pages and go for something else. Maybe whatever happened, I do not feel concerned. I am only concerned about the sports news. So I skip all those pages and go to the sports news column. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, whatever we do, we do what appeals to be uh, <clears throat> important to us. If any kind of thing which I feel is important, I look for it. If I feel that this is not important, I don't look for it. Nice, Bea. Yeah, I just wanted to know the state of being and the feeling, Bea, how they are related. I am, what I'm able to see is the state of being is easier for me to look in. And 
then uh, go for uh, the further corrections of my my being so i was trying to understand this part by so you can help me in this yes we are many times we will see that uh, observing your state of being is it is simpler because you are able to make out whether you are comfortable or not for example you are shivering with anger okay or you are getting nervous or you know whatever you are getting anxious so you are able to see this that i am yes, getting yes. anxious i am getting tense yes. i am getting angry i am getting somewhat revengeful or i am getting depressed or i have a feeling of remorse or whatever something like right. that so yes, yeah. this is the state of being we are able to see little easier uh, in a easy manner more many times but then i have to make out the feeling also because my state of being is going to be transformed only by observing the feeling because the transformation has to take place at the level of feeling so many times in general also people who are not doing this exercise are also able to make out whether they are feeling comfortable or uncomfortable isn't it but they may not be able to observe the feeling so that's how the transformation is not taking place oh right but only by this education sanskar only i can know about the real uh, true uh, uh, what is there in uh, with uh, my uh, living part and existence uh, in totality only then i can resolve my state yeah in completeness yeah okay right reality understanding about the reality that's what understanding about the reality yes so essentially i have to enter into the process of self exploration yeah nice bhaiya uh, bhaiya we have the proposal that the purpose program and potential of uh, uh, its self is same as uh, similar uh, why do we see uh, like i have observed i can see two types of people generally uh maybe in the same family also that one type they uh, are uh, more inclined to indulgences like uh whatever they like to eat they don't want to uh discontinue even if they know suppose uh, white bread it is not good still they would uh, like to continue but there are others when they get to know that something is not good they uh, put in effort to may, uh, bring changes in their lifestyle so uh, like same happens with suppose going to bed late night it's not good uh, we know when we know some can change but some uh, continue in their behavior how uh, do you uh, like uh, what can we how can we see these two kind of people then competence i understand but something why yes Uh, this is something common to everyone so we are deeply conditioned about certain things and we are less conditioned about certain things so like about the choice of food for certain things one may be deeply conditioned for certain things one may not be so conditioned in terms of behavior in terms of uh, upkeep of the body in terms of you know our interaction with the rest of nature so or in all these situations we may be deeply conditioned about certain things while we may not be conditioned about certain things for example one may be deeply conditioned to lose temper so even though one tries to come out of it one is not able to come out one can easily come out of any choice of food let's say but not able to come out of that state of anger someone may easily come out of that state of anger very soon but not able to come out of some choice of food i have particularly observed that in kanpur people chew gutkha gutkha is something to be you know chewed uh, for taste right and people are not able to leave that taste <clears throat> they become so accustomed to it right but they may leave other things very easily but not this part so this is only a matter of conditioning of the self okay bhaiya but what is observed is uh, like they uh, like in most of the things like it is seen that 
uh, I have been closely observing, like I have one relative, she has been doing for the last 20, 25 years into yoga and all. She has been doing a lot of courses and all, uh, but she would not uh, pay attention to her, like she wants to eat different things. Like she cannot stop, like moder moderation she cannot bring in her um, eating patterns. And uh, she would not do yoga we, yoga regularly, but she wants to teach others. Uh, so that kind of thing. So how it, does it happen? Like for so many years also, uh, nothing has changed. Like although she is in serious yoga uh, pract uh, practice, but she herself doesn't follow many things. So that's, that's why I know that's we are that doing certain physical postures and it could be one program but essentially i have to look at the body as an instrument if i'm not able to see the body as an instrument so i may be practicing so many things you'll see that people are doing now so many things of fitness okay to keep the body fit to keep the body attractive right and they will spend so much of money they will spend so much of time in a day for keeping the body fit but if you look at their eating habits okay it is not going to nurture the body properly many of the people would be drinking and you know, they would be eating so much of spicy food right or eating something which is not fit for health at all but they will spend two hours three hours in a day you know, doing fitness exercises or doing even yoga so the basic issue is to see myself different from the body so that i can look at the body as an instrument i can you know, see that this is my instrument if that is not the case, then on one hand, we are doing something for the health of the body. On the other hand, we are doing something for the taste, sensation from the body. So when we say appealing to senses, appealing to health and appealing to profit, right, at the level of thought. So there we'll see that you know, sometimes we are doing something excess for health. But at the same time, we are also spoiling the body by consuming for taste. That might happen. That clarity may not be there, even though I'm doing so many things. Yes, that self-contradictory behavior, indefinite behavior uh, is observed. Yes, please. Yes, yes, quite possible. Now, Didi, so what we'll do, let us observe this for 10 minutes, the exercise that we took yesterday, and then we'll discuss further. So I have to observe my feeling first. So to observe the feeling, I have to go through all those, you know, uh, fine steps so that I can observe my feeling precisely without judging, without evaluating, without reacting. Then I have to see whether it is naturally acceptable to me. And with that, I have to see whether I'm comfortable or not. It could also be the case that you are able to see, first of all, whether you are comfortable or not. And then you can see whether the feeling is, what feeling is there inside you and whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not. So we can go both the ways, but we have to observe all the three steps. So we'll do these three steps for the next 10 minutes and then share our observation. Nice.
nice now you can reflect on the three steps here i decided to observe my object of imagination with closed eye once i did that the impression of imagination or the idea of imagination went further and further and i arrived at one point that is i am feeling hungry now and immediately i thought that i am outside and when i reach home i will ask for my wife or daughter in law to provide some food and that is my desire and i ex i will expect that after eating i will be satisfied so after that i thought that yes uh, is it naturally acceptable to me so by to answer that i thought that it is a sensation from the body body wants food so it is sensation and afterwards i confirmed it with the natural acceptance because it's natural to come and uh, i mm, participated for the next uh, step that is am i comfortable yes i thought that yes i am comfortable and do i want to continue to this question i thought that no i do not want to continue now uh, because i want food immediately so it was my observation you can comment upon that whether they are right in order by steps or not thank you yes so you can observe with more fineness here so when you say that i am feeling hungry and i am feeling comfortable with that but i don't want to continue with this right so what all you are trying to say what could you observe at the level of feeling what could you observe at the level of thought so for example i am getting some sensation from the body and i say that now i am feeling hungry so that essentially means that i am selecting now to go for food okay now here what is the feeling we are saying that i am feeling hungry that is one thing what is the feeling with which you would like to continue and the feeling with which you would not like to continue so you want to fulfill the need of the body right and that's how we say that i am feeling hungry but then what is your natural acceptance here you can try to make out what is the analysis that is going on here you can try to make out so i leave it to you you try to observe all this with little more fineness so that because so many things might have happened this is just one part of your observation so many things might have happened you know during this whole process so whenever we get some sensation from the body and we say that i am feeling hungry i am feeling cold i am feeling hot and you know, so many things so what is actually happening at the level of desire what is actually happening at the level of thought what is actually happening at the level of expectation you can try to make out yeah yeah and okay okay thank you nice dear i could able to now able to uh, reach to the level of feeling there are some feeling mostly which are comfortable but a few uh, feeling i find which are not comfortable once i able to identify or recognize the, the feeling which are not comfortable then uh, what uh, the what will be the my next step yeah that is what we we are going to discuss next if i am not comfortable <coughs> if i am not comfortable within yeah then i yeah. can see further that who decided this feeling you can see further what is the basis of another feeling that i am getting and then if this basis is naturally acceptable to me or not 
if yes then let me continue with this if not then i would like to transform it then i'll try to make out what is naturally acceptable to me essentially and then go for it ensuring it so these are the steps that are going to follow from here so first of all let us observe this with little fineness you know patiently and then we can go further and try to transform so it's not that i have observed something and then i'm going to transform it no try to be with yourself at step 1 try to be observant of every feeling that is there in you just try to observe it as it is then we'll go for transforming it because that is one level of competence that is required otherwise you observe something and then you try to transform and then you also start expecting that may not work so it's not that i have to transform one feeling i have to transform myself so for that i can observe all the feeling that i have patiently and then i can go further and evaluate it and then try to transform it so keep on observing keep on okay observing. that means for the yeah that means this uncomfortability related to particular that uh, object that is the competence is not related to that particular uh, feeling of that object the competence uh, within me i have to develop that one for transformation yeah. so the competence is related to the feeling for that object of imagination that is there because the feeling is there inside you yeah yeah and and it is based on your competence okay whether the okay. feeling is dictated by some preconditioning or sensation or natural acceptance that is right understanding okay. what you have to see okay. right okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, Baya, there is. Can we also have uh, multiple feelings uh, in a particular situation or with a particular person? Because as I just observed, I had a feeling of relationship, as well as there's also a feeling of a fear. Also, can that be? can we have two different feelings with a particular uh, situation or an individual that, that seems to be a little confusing yes of course why two you can have multiple hmm. for example you feel related to the spouse okay hmm. this is one thing but you start remembering some incident which was a little bitter with the husband so you have another hmm. kind of feeling but you feel pity on the person you have another kind of feeling <laughs> so in our feeling also you see so many fluctuations taking place so whenever we remember some person we may have so many feelings mixed up also if a person goes by my desires then i have one kind of feeling if the person does not go i have one kind of feeling for example you ask a friend to come and meet you at some point mm. in the city mm. you have a feeling of relationship for that friend okay mm. but you can also have imagine that if this person doesn't come then right or earlier you had asked that person to come but she came very late and, mm. and then you have another kind of feeling so sometimes you feel uncomfortable sometimes you feel comfortable sometimes you feel related sometimes opposed sometimes mm. anxious sometimes calm you be with yourself in fact if saturday is a holiday then try to spend one or two hours with yourself be with yourself sit uh, calmly and then just try to observe you see so many ups and downs in your feeling in your thought okay that may be there how, how to resolve it that's what we are doing in the morning session <laughs> we are trying to yeah that <laughs> because the feeling of uh, be it even now uh, with uh, your own father mother there happens to be a feeling of relationship at the same time there is also a fear not to go and disclose everything or like a fear of how they would react to certain things or maybe like uh, they might have an opposition on certain things so some point of time there happens to be a kind of a confusion on how to go and approach them 
Yes, so that is there. So a feeling of relationship as well as fear. Mm. So you feel related, that's why you want to approach them. But if you have you have a fear that if I tell everything, then they may feel unhappy about it. Mm. Okay. Exactly. That may also spoil the relationship, maybe. Mm. Right. But then again, you have a feeling that if I do not disclose, right, and they come to know about it sometime later through someone else, then what will happen? Yeah. Then you have to that let me go and disclose. Then you have a feeling that no, no, I do not need to disclose all these things. I can say something. So you'll see that whatever analysis going on inside you, it is coming with a feeling. Mm. Last time when you disclosed and they disclosed it to you know so many people in the family unknowingly and the situation got spoiled. Mm. So you might have some fear also there. So you'll see all these ups and downs in the feelings. Okay. If things happen this way, this would be there. If things happen that way, something else would be there. Okay. I just have to allow myself to just flow a bit, just go with that. Not Without flow with that. Disturbing. Observe it. Don't Observe, try to yeah. yeah. In fact, when you are there with yourself and you are trying to observe the feeling, mm -hmm. then the deeply seated feelings or the conditionings start coming to the surface. You have to allow them. Mm. You have to allow them, observe them, accept them. Yes, this is there in me. If I do not observe mm. it today, you know, it will uh, express tomorrow in some way or the other. Mm. You'll see that when we become observant, we also start observing so many things which we are ignoring. Mm. You know? For example, you observe a lizard and you said, oh, ma, you know, right? And you ignored mm. it while you are used to saying this. Mm. You know, ma, when I see the lizard. Mm. But now when you are observing, you can see that there is some fear inside. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. There could be so many things mixed up. So when we become observant, we are able to observe in our own imagination. Mm. All that we do. You right, also start right. recollecting yeah, several things, maybe from your past life, for which you are unresolved. It may be painful at times, right? So you have mm. to decide by yourself how much time you are going to spend over there. Now, as we go further, you see that I may get reminded of so many things in the past, but at the same time, if I am having the uh, understanding of transforming the feeling, then I can go for that also. No need to just you know, feel pained by that. Mm -hmm. But yes, I have to uncover myself. Unless I uncover, unless you know, things get exposed to me, I will be suffering on that account. So I have deeply seated preconditionings you know, or feelings of unhappiness, feelings of dissatisfaction, feelings of anxiety, feeling of uh, like some some unfavorable feeling, which is not visible to me generally. But when I sit by myself, I start uncovering them. And if I have all these steps clear to me, then I can go and look into the steps and then try to transform them. But this is something yeah. doable. <clears throat> it is just like there's a disease in the body. So many diseases are there in the body. Okay, mm. Outwardly, we may be using cosmetics over the body to make myself look healthy. But within my body, there are so many diseases. So I have to, at some point of time, uncover. I have to find out you know, what all is there in my body so that they get cured. Mm -hmm. All the diseases get removed. A similar thing with the self. Outwardly, I may be laughing. I may be saying so many things. Right? Mm -hmm. People may be appreciating me. But within me, I might be carrying so many feelings. So many thoughts which are very painful for me, which do not let me be with myself. And I try to escape them. This may be common to everyone. It can be also a very deep sanskar, no, Bhaiya? Yes, deep sanskar. Deep sanskar and we have so many pains because yeah. of the deep, deep sanskars. Yeah. Okay, Bhaiya. Thank you. Nice, Didi.
श्री कुमार जी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सर वी हैव सो मेनी फीलिंग्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एवरी एस्पेक्ट सो माई थिंग पॉइंट माई क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू गेट रिट ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव फीलिंग्स एंड uh another thing is that by observing how to observe uh, uh, the uh, the task and uh, by observing the uh, things uh, what is our objective objective is to transform to awaken to the higher level activities so that happiness becomes my innate nature i do not have to depend on things outside for my happiness i am happy by myself this is the objective okay uh, and how to get rid of these negative feelings sir even if we have a, a confident at one point of time but at some other point of time we have a, a negative feelings on things sir. but when the things happen positively we are thinking that we are uh, we thought wrongly like that so yeah so that's what we are doing by evaluating the feeling and then by looking into my natural acceptance i am trying to transform the feeling so as you go further you go through those steps presently we are just saying that observe the feeling as it is find out whether it is naturally acceptable to you and then look into your state of being and then gradually go to transform also and transformation essentially means that if this is not acceptable to me naturally then what is acceptable to me naturally i have to make out okay sir if i am able to make it out rightly in completeness yeah. naturally i'll you know try to ensure it also yeah when i go to observe it i may get multiple other questions yes which may be related to my relationships my being my participation in the larger order yes then so many thoughts will come up then i'll try to resolve them at the level of thought also at the level of feeling also Yes. So, at step three, we are doing the self evaluation of our state. So, I am evaluating the impact of my feeling, the thought at this moment on my state of being. With this feeling, am I comfortable within or uncomfortable within? So, find it out. Many times, we'll see that when you try to look within, you are able to see that there is some discomfort inside. For example, when we wake up in the morning and we try to look within, you see that there is some discomfort. If you try to make out what is making you uncomfortable, you get reminded of some incident that took place yesterday, something or the other, which is making you uncomfortable, isn't it? And then you can look into that incident. What was the feeling? What was the incident? What made you unhappy or uncomfortable there? so am i in a state of harmony within or in contradiction within am i in a state of happiness or in a state of unhappiness within that is something that we can try to make out for example observe and evaluate this when you have the feeling of affection and when you have the feeling of opposition so when i have a feeling of feeling which is naturally acceptable to me i am um, un- i am comfortable i am in harmony and i am in a state of harm uh, happiness within the moment i have a feeling that is not acceptable to me naturally i am uncomfortable in contradiction unhappy within at that moment so step 2 and 3 are related if i have some feeling in me which is naturally not acceptable to me then i will feel uncomfortable if i have some feeling in me which is acceptable to me naturally i will feel un- uh, comfortable so through all these ways we are trying to make out uh, the feeling exactly and we are also trying to look into the natural acceptance now at times you may also feel that i am feeling comfortable but this feeling is not acceptable to me naturally try to observe that part also for example somebody is appreciating you 
saying so many good things about you. So you feel comfortable. But you may also see that this person is over evaluating me, which is not acceptable to me naturally. Isn't it? So now you can also make out that this comfort that I'm trying to enjoy is not actually comfort. This is a comfort leading to discomfort. So I'm going to be uncomfortable the next moment. So many times by looking to steps two and three also together, you can be able to also make out the meaning of happiness or harmony or comfort. Because sometimes you feel that we are in harmony, but it's not harmony. It has seeds of disharmony. Okay. Or it is just some favorable condition that you call as harmony. So it is not actually harmony also. So by doing the steps two and three, you can get a better clarity of harmony and get a better clarity of natural acceptance. So try to observe how many times in a day you feel comfortable. Try to observe what makes you comfortable, what makes you uncomfortable. There could be a variety. Okay. So today is a holiday. You may feel very comfortable that, yes, I do not have to go to the office, right? But then you, you know, uh, get some words from your spouse that today we have to do so many things, so many tasks are pending, and then you become uncomfortable. That today I had thought of sleeping the whole day, today is a holiday, and see this person is giving so many tasks to me. So you start feeling uncomfortable. You may also start developing some reaction inside. Right, and your feeling gets not changed. Earlier it was one kind of feeling, now it is a different kind of feeling. So just try to observe how many times I feel comfortable, how many times I feel uncomfortable in a day. What makes me comfortable? What makes me uncomfortable? If you try to look at this being in comfort in totality, okay. You'll see that unless I have the right understanding and right feeling, I'm not comfortable with myself. Only that some favorable situation is there and I'm calling it as comfort. But actually, and I'm not in comfort because I have so many things unresolved in me. So what we presently call as comfort also may not be actually the comfort. It's only that I have come out of discomfort. If I have to go on the job, I have to obey orders, I have to accomplish so many things, I feel uncomfortable. When I'm not doing that, I feel comfortable. I may call it as a comfort, but actually this is not comfort. It is only that there is lack of discomfort now, so they're calling it as comfort. But since I'm not resolved within, it suddenly gets changed. Wife comes and says that you know, we have to purchase a new sofa. This sofa has got, become old, right? And then you feel uncomfortable that why to spend so much money for sofa, it is still working. But the wife is insisting. Now just look into the imagination what has happened. You are feeling comfortable. The moment you hear these words, you feel uncomfortable. You get a phone call right, about your friend who made an accident yesterday. You are feeling comfortable, but now you start feeling uncomfortable. So you will see the fluctuations inside you. How many times you feel uncomfortable? How many times you feel uncomfortable? What makes you comfortable? What makes you uncomfortable? And that will give you a better clarity. And as you are saying that many times we are able to observe step three first and then we can go for step one and two. Because to be able to make out the feeling, we could see the kind of effort that is required at times because I'm not able to make out the feeling rightly. So I'm even not able to make out my feeling many times in a day, though I can observe my thoughts and I can also observe my state of being. So look at your state of being right now. Are you comfortable or uncomfortable? Are you in harmony or disharmony? Are you happy or unhappy? Yes. So try to observe this many times in a day. Try to make a schedule of observing yourself.
yeah it is time now we'll stop the session here and we'll go for